hello guys welcome back to vlogmas day 10. i think i've kind of just accepted that we're not going to be able to do vlogmas every day but we'll still like make it a goal if that makes sense like we're not gonna kill ourselves to get something up and then also like have crappy content just to get something up but we're not gonna go eh just not feeling it today so oh my gosh what is that makeup Look at this. That's what I come home to. They fight. The kitties fight under there. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. So we have just both had the longest days ever. It was good. It was great. I'm tired. Fine. But it's over. We survived it. And that, I don't know why I'm holding it so high. That is what matters, I guess. We survived. What, what is he doing? I don't know. I had this work today to do. Um, I'm still in CET training. And I've told you guys a little bit about CET, but basically it's like a design program that's very new, very updated. Um, and I'm used to using AutoCAD. Um, so it's an extensive training program. And I like rushed because it said there was 98 minutes of pre-coursework. Like you have to do pre-coursework. So I was like, oh my gosh, 98 minutes, I don't even have time because I had such a crazy day. You were only supposed to do step one through two, which took like eight minutes. Cool. So, but I did the whole thing, which I guess is good because now I'll have time for the rest of the week. Anyway. Um, you have that training every day this week, don't you? Yeah, two hours a day, every day, five days. Awesome. This is the like intense one, right? It's not even the most intense, but it is more intense. But this is like, the, the next one is like, one or two like long sessions, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, also, hold on. Let's sit you guys down. Cause I need to take my shoes off. Um, we still don't have work. We still don't have heat at work. And so I got there today and the temperature in the office read, I think it was 64 when I walked in. When I left it was at 54. And I was like, bye. I literally said I'm not coming until I'm not coming back until you have it fixed. Don't bother. Why are these shoes not coming off? <sighs> yes, it's so good to see you too. Yes, it's good to see you too. Ugh. Salem. Salem, why are you the way that you are? Because he's cute. He's not. This pathetic tree skirt. <laughs> I still can't believe I thought 30 inches was gonna be enough for this little skinny tree. And it looks like a little friggin'. They've messed up all my bows. My bows don't look pretty anymore. Not one of them. Not a single bow looks like effort was made. There's cat hair on the bows. Just look at the way Doug's like looking at you. Like, you know, hey mom, glad to be here. Oh. There's animal hair all over the presents. You know what? But I love my babies. And I will do whatever it takes. I need you guys to understand, I finished this 15 seconds ago. Allie? Allie? What are you doing? Allie girl. Allie cat. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? You're the cutest kitty ever. You're so cute, I can't even handle it. I'm not, I can't even be mad at you. Just Remember look, that? just, it's like, it's like the best time of the year for them, for sure. This is why I always put up such a fight about putting a Christmas tree up in November. Well, you're fine, because look, it's still standing. It gives them a month. It still looks okay-ish. That'd be bad. They have really messed with the ribbon this year, like. No, the, you are not pulling out every all day. wrinkled, <laughs> like this, this attached somewhere. It's just, it's bad, but it's okay. Again, 
That's what we do for the ones that we love. Including the fat kitties that just don't know when to stop. Allie. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to get, hold on. You're about to see the reason I married Mariah. Yep. This sealed the deal for Samuel Jessup and it is stupid easy, this recipe. Like, probably one of the easiest recipes that it doesn't look good. Like existed. it comes out looking just like. I mean, it comes out looking kind of normal. Like it just looks like stove top stuffing mix. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just kind of looks like a mess, but it's really good. Okay. Trying to like work well in this. I think we need to start all right. naming all of our appliances. Like we need a Stevie. No, we're not gonna have Stevie the TV. Well, um, That's gross. you know that this does not go. In yeah, there, right? Yeah. You get me the cream of chicken soup. All right. This is called pepper jack cheese chicken. Wait, what? Cream of chicken soup. I mean, do you need just one? Uh, one, yeah. Um, so I can't have this because it most likely has gluten. Yup, gluten in it. Um, but I can just completely scrape this off because the consistency of what I'm about to make is really good and easy to do that with. So, this is all you need. Do you want to make, do you want me to make like rice or something else since you can't have the stuffing? Mm -hmm. That's pretty filling still. It's okay. Do you, want, do you want corn or no? I was going to make like corn or green beans. Yeah. Or... Okay, this is all you need. Literally, this is it. Stove top. Next, chicken. We have this frozen, which is why it's in a bag. Yeah, we had to divide it up because it came in like a seven huge pounds thing. of chicken. Um, cream want... of chicken soup. And then whatever kind of cheese you like in slices. We can, yeah. Okay. It's not whatever kind. It's pepper, pepper jack is definitely the best. Pepper jack or Colby jack because it gives it like a spice. Yeah. Um, I think the recipe that I originally found like years and years ago was like Swiss cheese. Okay, you guys, this is literally the easiest recipe in the world. And Sam was gonna make chicken in our Instant Pot tonight. And um, he pulled the pepper jack cheese out and he was like, Mo, do we have stuff to make pepper jack cheese chicken? And I like hopped up off the couch and I was like, yup. Okay, all right. The easiest recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put you guys down. Oh, look at my pretty friend, Julie. She's so cute. All right. Oh, what? The biggest thing, like the only thing you have to stick true to in this is how long you cook it. You cook it on 350 for like 50 minutes, so it does take a little bit of time, but that's just because you put in completely raw chicken. Like you don't cook it or anything. And it is so good. We have done it with big chicken breasts before. We have done it with um, small, like, almost like tenders like these are. I'm so excited about this. I completely forgot we had the ingredients to make this stuff. We do need milk, but I can just use butter. Milk is just like for a extra little I, I know, we're gonna taste. somehow Thanksgiving everything, put our grocery shopping ahead and then behind. Yep. And we've been out of milk for a couple days now. Yeah, it's because we needed it with like everything. Okay. We're gonna be just... I don't like putting that there. So, all you do, I've sprayed the bottom of this and I just line the chicken. Usually takes about six pieces of chicken in this one pan that we use. I believe this is a uh, eight by 11, nine by 13. I can never remember. And we'll have a little bit left over after this. Like we'll have enough for another meal. Daddy, will you please go turn the closet on? Oh, yeah. Or the bedroom aisle. Okay. Line it up like that. And then for the next part, all you do. Okay, wait. I'm excited, we haven't had this in a while. I know. 
can't believe I had this in so long. Usually you can use milk, but because we don't have milk, I'm gonna use a little bit more butter. Not a huge deal. I mean, this is not by any stretch a low calorie, like low fat meal. I mean, I'm definitely sure there are like ways to substitute certain things, um, like the stovetop stuffing mix, but we literally just came up with this on the spot that we're gonna have this for dinner, so. Was not prepared for this. I'm sure you could probably like make white rice and then like serve the chicken and cheese over white rice. We could. We have brown rice. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying we're going to. I'm just saying you could. Probably wouldn't cook the same though. No, you have to cook them separate. Like I was saying, not a quick meal, but a very easy meal. Like I'm pretty sure you could probably prep this, put it in your fridge in the morning. I don't know. So I just melted some butter and then I'm putting the cream of chicken in here. I'm gonna kind of mix it together so that it's a little bit creamier. And then all you do after you take the butter and cream of mushroom soup, or cream of chicken, I'm sorry, or you could use cream of mushroom soup. You take the stove top stuffing mix. It is all done. It is ready to be put in the oven. You cook it for 50 minutes, like I keep just saying. The biggest thing is making sure that your chicken is cooked. Um, actually, because these are tenders, I'm probably only gonna do it for about 40, and then we'll cut it open and see. Back up, Zeus. Okay. Okay. Wake me up in 40 minutes. It is scalding hot, but it is so good. You get the crunchy, although I won't be getting that. Um, the chicken is cooked perfectly. You've got the butterfly. Oh, so good. You excited? Very. Yes. It's been a while since we've had this. It has. You excited, dog? I know. It has been a while. All right, let's eat. 